gonna make some money, you know that I'm with it. Ten girl breed you, damn right I sing. Have a new style where we call it full hundred. When me said the style name again, me catch a girl in a day. Oh, she want to eat me start up. And then she have the nerve say, wah, hey, you better can cook, cook. Think you're the yaffy, you're pretty, look you all. Y'all could do this shit all night. But well, you don't know, you're watching Dancing Clear and Unruly Cooling. Keep it locked right here. Please subscribe. 2020 and it's Unruly Cooling and Don Sinclair back in Kingston. Right now we're in Truck Back Studio with none other than... Your boy, Mr. Lex. What's good? Most people know me as Lexus. So I'm done. Dig it! Well done. <laughs> Welcome. Right, so I'm going to do some quick questions and if you give me some quick fire answers. All right. All right. First one is, how did you get into music? At what age and who inspired you? Um, I, I think music chose me now. Because I, I have a few other talents where I didn't even know what I wanted to become. But then, like I said, music chose me. I started about 19. Okay. But like throughout my life still, during high school and then sitting there, you know, um, my, my whole life has always been on stage. Whether I mean, I dance or act or something, whatever. But, you know, after high school, um, like I said, music chose me. Okay. Um, so my inspirations, uh, I'm, I'm, like I take a, a whole heap of different inspiration from different different artists. Like you know, I look a bit of Professor Nuts, I look a bit of mm -hmm. um, Sh well, Shabba Rankin was the artist who made me want to become an artist. Right. He was the first artist I met and be like, yo, yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah. And I said, but like for me, I got inspiration from even Beanie Man, who was there, who was here a minute ago. Yep. Uh, um, um, Admiral Bailey, okay. Lieutenant Stitchy, right. Papa San, you know, like um, a whole different. So, you know, I take a little piece of, yeah. little piece of each artist and and, and, make, and create my own as well. Okay, all right. So you mentioned there, I caught that you said you had other talents. What 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 other things were it that you was interested? Oh yeah, I, I, in? I was I was I was good at um, I was good on um, on the screen. I was good at acting. Okay. Well, I, I still am. Yeah. I just never pursued that. Right. And um, at some point in my life, I was a choreographer. Okay. <laughs> you know, choreographer, oh. dance, dance, step, and stuff. So yeah. My whole, my whole entire uh, life has been on the stage. Right. So, like, like when, when, when me and you, I'm at my friend, them a pre, and I experiment with other different drugs and guns and yeah. all of them sitting there. I always feel like me and somebody. So, me that pre offer sign autograph and anything, then, you know, thank okay. you speech and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I, I just knew I was going to be somebody. I just didn't know what I was going to do. But right. I knew I was going to be a star. You know what I'm saying? Okay. How about playing for Liverpool? I see, guys, he's got the right T-shirt on there. You never walk alone. <laughs> you never walk alone. <laughs> I had to mention that one Mu there. It's my, it's my, it's my um, um, football, I'm a second love. Other than music, right. like music is my first love, but then, you know, the other thing is football. And, okay. Um, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of Liverpool. Yeah. My, my, my dad lives in Liverpool, <laughs> you know, my brother sister them living in Liverpool so I've been there a few times and it's oh, gonna, it gonna be unfair if me to cheer for any other team that's right everybody you know a Liverpool fans still okay. so you know All big right. up Reds that's right so do you write your own music and what inspires you uh, I get inspiration uh, like from different different things and mm -hmm. you know different moments and yeah. things that happen in my life yeah like for me it is, I, I'm not gonna say I sit down and write a lyrics or because mm. he's a man where we just pre something and then right. I pre it in my mind mm -hmm. and then you know make it stay around in my mind for a minute and then when my record now that's when okay. I make the song. I don't really I'm not like one of them artists who sit down and write mm -hmm. book full of lyrics and right. book full of lyrics yeah. and no. So you memorize all your Yeah, I, 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 that's what I used to do before we get smartphones. Yeah, so you So know, now you're now when all, I get an idea, yeah. we just type it down from right. from the smartphone and leave yeah. it. And then when I make a record now, I just pull it up back and say, hmm, which one matched already man? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. And it would just fix things, is it? Yeah, all right, okay. So growing up, what would you? Um, what was your first single that you ever bought? I recorded my first it? song. I recorded my first song, 1992, which makes this year, I can safely say, 30 years in music. Wow. Um, it never really busted. Nowhere still. Shout out to Raban, the first man that mm -hmm. recorded me. Mm -hmm. And um, my first hit song, though, mm -hmm. I got like nine years after 1999 which okay. is gonna make some money you know that i'm with it 10 gal breed you damn right mm -hmm. i did it and then that opened the gate and from that i just mm -hmm. it sang after it sang after it sang after it sang okay. and i just right I just punch them you know what I'm okay saying? okay so what about the first single you ever went out and bought so say the little money maybe you say the first song the first um, single or song buy, well or uh, actually even. the first bye bye Jay-Z. Okay. Jay-Z album was the first one of the first albums I'm buy. That's what my friend called me Jigga, because he used to play Wooly for Jay-Z. Oh, Jay right, right. That was one of the first albums. And then, as for, uh, like, as for reggae... Um, <laughs> as for, as for, 
Reggae, uh, the first reggae album with a buy. I think that would be uh, um let me check. I think that I think that was Bob Marley, you know. Oh. Lime, lime I think Bob Marley was the first reggae album. Yo, don't listen to me now. That was the first well, album. He clearly knows something different there. Now we I go think. way back still. Uh? We go we, we go way back. Way, 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 way back. Okay. Shut up, shut, shut up. Yeah. Yo, stop interrupting. Stop it. Ruining my interview. Yo. Well, it looks like um, we need to be interviewing Beanie yeah, Man yeah, as well. We he clearly has a lot to share we as well. We need to bring him over here. <laughs> <laughs> He's run off, guys. He's run off, yeah. Um, yo, we're Kurt. We're Kurt Riley. He's ruining it. Yo, give my young kid we're, we're Kurt Riley, father name again. Techniques. Techniques. Okay. Winston Riley. Winston Riley. Right. Yeah. So, I used to go to Winston. Winston Riley. So I used to go to, go to um, Techniques record shop and I like, that's, that's where we used to get music from. Right. Okay. So what school did you attend? And what's your happy memories of school? Um. I. 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 I, I but the past the Jamaica College is one of which is one of our prestige colleges in Jamaica. But okay. my, mother, my mother never had the money them time there, so I get yeah. transferred to Trenchtown, okay. which was five of the best years of my life. Me right. not like, cause, Why um, was that? That's, that's, that's where I learn a whole lot of you know, like a whole lot of things. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Okay. But I went, I went to Rollington Town Primary, then Trenchtown, and then right. after that now I do a one year a one year. Uh, course in hotel managing, waitering okay. and catering at wow. Boys Town Training Center, wow. which I did and pursued. So, so you know, you've covered quite a broad, different like, yeah, kind like of if, thing. If you never the boss as an artist, yeah. could, uh, could I manage a hotel right now? Okay, all right. You know what so, what's your favorite album by another artist at the moment? Oh, snaps. <laughs> um, my favorite album by another artist, that would be. Um, Maybe that would be that. That would definitely be uh, Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes. Um, um, what's the name of the album? Oh. Why? Why Busta Rhymes? Busta Rhymes? Why? Like, like as a kid growing up, Busta Rhymes was the art, was the rapper that um, was one of my favorite rappers of all time because I like the way him, 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 him I like him lyrics because he was like one of the average rappers who don't rap about the average things. Yeah. You yep, know, he would take yep, it out the box all the yeah, time. Yeah. Out the box a all the time. Flow. Yeah. He, 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 and in videos, them was out the box all yep. the time. So he was, you know, he, he definitely had my attention. Okay. All, the time. all right. So if you could collab with another artist and, and, and do a song, who would that be? Uh, it doesn't have to be one person. Like, you might have more than one. Yeah, I have a like, like for me, for, for me, to co uh, I'd collab with any artist as long as we can get together and make good music. Mm -hmm. Don't be in it. Yo, come on, bro. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. So like I I I would collab with any artist as long as we make good music. It doesn't even have to be a big name or, or you know, as long as the artist as long as we mm. can come together yep. and make good music. Yep. I I'm 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 down for that. It, 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 no, right. no big artist particularly. Yeah. But but for, for real, more I love internationally. Yep. Right now, mm -hmm. more I do a song with Bruno Mars. Oh yeah. Our, that's our, different. Yeah. Our, our, or Katy Perry. Uh -huh. I like Katy Perry. Yeah, yeah. Or my girl from England, Adele. Adele. Well, yeah, I, yeah, she's big. Yeah, yeah she's yeah, big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, what would you say you what changes you would make in the music industry if you was the most powerful man, like the, right there at the top, and you could make any kind of change? What would that be? I don't. I don't. I, I never, I never considered that before. But if I could make any change, I would, I would, um, like Iwa, my music, mm -hmm. our music, dancehall music, is yeah. one of the most loved music on the planet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's not at the stage where it's supposed to be. Right. So if I would could change, I would try to change the business perspective of right. how we go about okay. business in our music. Yeah. And try to put the music on a level. Mm. Where it's supposed to be, you know, because yeah. I, I, one of the most loved music on the planet, yeah. but it's yeah. still not one of the biggest music. Why on the do planet. you think that is? I guess it's the way we we go about business. I mean, you know, the, the first generation of artists, them, they, yeah. they were just doing the music because they love it. They wasn't yeah, really yeah. doing the business side of the music, so mm -hmm. nobody really paid attention to the business side of the music until the latter part of right. now, where people start be like, yeah. oh, you know, so you you got to put you know copyright in mm. places. You got to you know you, you have to sign up. And get your publishing, get yep. the, all of them things. So, so, like the first set of artists, them, mm -hmm. all of them get robbed by the producer, them, right. with publishing and all of them something. But yeah. it's just like 
in, in, after that now, mm -hmm. you know, people start pay attention and, yeah. you know, yeah. we start put few yeah. things in perspective. Yeah. So I guess like maybe another couple of years from now, uh -huh. you know, things will be in a perspective still. Okay. So where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do I see myself the next five years? Where would you like years? to be? Like, yo, I don't, I just want to be alive. I yeah. don't know where, I don't yeah. know, I don't know, where, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I don't know what, <laughs> five, I don't know what I'm going to do in five years from now. I don't know <laughs> what, but I just want to be alive. As long as I'm alive, yeah. I'm going to be doing something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because the old time I've got yeah. right now, yeah. you, you got to be, it's a blessing when you wake up every morning. That's so right. Five That's years right. from now, I'm not even th sitting there thinking like, I want to be here five years time. I just want to know someone be alive. That's and then, right, yeah. I could, I could do whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Embrace every opportunity. Yeah, for real. Okay. So if you was to give advice to someone up and coming in music, a younger person, what advice would you give them? Do it, do it because you love it. Mm. Don't do it the music because of what the music can offer you, mm. or what the music can do for you, or where it can take you. Do the music because you love it, because once you do it for the love of it, yeah. it has so much to offer you. Yeah. It gives you so much once you do it for the real love. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. a lot of people do music because them see we, you know, the bling bling and we travel the world yeah. and, you know, we have the art girl them and things. So, yeah. you know, that's what they want. They yeah. not really love the music. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you, like, like if you do the music for the love of it, then yeah. it has so much things to offer you. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I would, my advice would be do it for the love yeah. and not, um, not for what the music can give to you. Yeah, yeah. When did you last perform? I just performed last night, oh. St. Elizabeth. Okay. That was, that was my last performance last right. night. And a shout out to everybody down there on St. Elizabeth. That, <laughs> that shit was lit last night, yo. She was lit. Do you ever get nervous performing? Every single time. And how do you deal with that? Every single time. <laughs> how like, do you deal with I've it? Been, I've been performing for, uh, I've, been, I've been in front of the crowd for all of my life, but I still get butterflies. Like, mm. uh, you know, there's this moment before the MC. Yeah. Hold on one second. Yo, guys, guys, guys. You know, right here on the mic. Right here on the mic. I'm oh, sorry, I'm yes. sorry. Mm. Yo. It's Dini. I'm yeah. sorry, let's. My own reservation. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, me go walk away. No, no, yeah. no, 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 sit back. No, 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 no. You see, you see, every time... It, of course, me, of course. Every time before you perform... I'm like when I explain myself because you are one of the top artists in Jamaica. And you are the man yes. that make blood clad them young youth and you say, music for me. And you are the one, you are the one of the man that we make... We're going to come interview you right after, after we're done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're next, yeah. you're next on the yeah, list. I'm going. Listen to the camera, I'm going. As I said, I leave you. I'm like, oh, I'm Yo, no, yo, don't give nothing else to drink for the night. Don't give nothing else to drink for the night, please. Yeah, so, so you're talking about your last performance from last night? No, I, yeah, no, I was saying that um, even though I perform so many times yeah. over the years, and like, just before, right, the minute before the MC call your name, mm -hmm. I always get nervous. Right. Even though, even though the big artist right now and yeah. I still get nervous. But the moment I step on the stage, mm -hmm. I forget all of that. All of that gone. That's all good. of that gone. The moment I step up on the stage and yeah. grab the mic, all yeah. of that gone. But you see that little moment there before the M yeah. when, when the MC comes to you and say, Yo, are you next? Cause you don't know what the hell is gonna <laughs> happen now. You know what I'm saying? So that little butterfly thing there, yeah, yeah. Yeah. always. Even yeah. though, even though, even though I'm a well seasoned artist, yeah. I still get nervous. Have you ever forgotten your lyrics? Yeah, so you know. had a block and just yeah, like, you know. you know, with nerves yeah. or something. So how do you style that out? I mean, what do you do to yeah. cover that up? Yo, you know what? <laughs> Yo, you know what? One of my worst experiences was one time I performed in downtown and forget my lyrics mm. like three times. Yeah. And the crowd run me off. Mm. Did they? The crowd run me off, so I feel type of sh me they feel shame. Mm. So I'm, and then I have on this big Versace jacket where everybody can see me in a party, so I want to take it off and hide. Right. But I can't take it off. So, but the mo you see, as I forgot, as I forgot, jump off of the stage mm -hmm. and go find a, 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 a dark hole for hide. Yeah. When, when a fan in you know, the crowd said, Give up Lexus the mic! Yeah. Give bad! <laughs> And the MC gave back the mic. I'm right. just DJ and mash it up. So nice. You know that was, but that, that's the one word. Yeah, I, mean, I, I forget my lyrics. I'm on stage already. Okay. So, if you was the most powerful person, or let's say even the prime minister in Jamaica, what changes would you make? Ah, uh, this question again. <laughs> um, like yo, if I, I, I'd try to make, I'd try to make reggae music be more of a power house in terms of bringing in money and, and being uh -huh. an important part of Jamaica. I, mean, I try to put the music on the forefront, you know what yeah. I say? Yeah. I okay. try to change, the, the, yeah. the, change that and make it be more right. into okay. our culture, you know yeah. what I say? Yeah, yeah. All right, so what can the people out there now, your fans and other people around the globe, expect from you now in the future? I don't know. 
follow me on TikTok. <laughs> He's on TikTok. I, I'm really funny on TikTok. Yeah, I should really Share follow me. Share your details. But, um, you need to let the people I, I, know where I, to like find in, you as in, well. In a real life still, I'm mm. about to drop one more album on Cardi okay. Quiz. Right, have you named and it I'm, yet? I'm, I'm, I'm going to resign after that. You're going to resign? Yeah, okay. like, I'm going to drop one more album, do one more tour. Why? As a matter of fact, my tour, you know, it's been 30 years. Yeah. It's been, like, I did everything already. Like, um, I'm, I'm, one of, I'm, I'm one of the few Jamaican artists, can't forget, uh, can't say them get nominated for an MTV award. Yeah, yeah. My single "Anything Goes" with Nuria Gang, Wayne mm -hmm. Wonder, was the single that fueled the Def Star, Def Star Heineken album to a Grammy nomination. Right. You know, I've been to like 50 countries yeah. around the planet. Wow. That's a lot of. You know, that's that's yeah. not only an achievement amongst my peers, of but course. that's like an achievement among the world because enough people are really yeah. go five yeah. countries. You know, the right. Yeah. So for yeah. me to, I just posted on my Instagram the other day, you know, 50 yeah. countries and with uh, and name all of them, and there wow. were still people who was like. Yo, how come you don't mention Belize? Oh, you know, so, oh, so yeah. clearly I've been to yeah. more. Yeah. You know what I said? Yeah. And that is an achievement. So, of you know, I, I, I've done it. I've, I've been, I, I do all that already. And, you know, what is there to do again? So maybe I should just try to pursue another one of my talent. Is that what I said? Yeah, yeah. And you have many there. And I have a couple for real. Yeah. Okay. So to wrap up, what would your message be to Don Sinclair and myself and Roly Cooley for the works that we're doing? Um, You know, like, don't follow the rest of journalism them and, 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 and go for clout. Yeah. And, and, and spread wrong news and spread that you know do the yeah. love of the music and yeah. try to do the writing and spread the real thing of the music in, in a mass and you you guys are intricate to our career as we are intricate to your career so yeah. you know once you do the writing just do the writing you know what I'm saying yeah. all right so that wraps us up thank you very much you want to finish in the middle. peace <laughs> Yo, follow me. Yo, all my social yeah, media, all detail. my social media handles <laughs> are the real Miss Alex. That's T H E R E A L M R L E X X. So whether you on TikTok, whether you on Snapchat, whether you on Twitter, whether you are on Instagram, or Facebook, or whatever, it's the real Miss Alex. One, holla at your boy. Okay.